Hi everyone, welcome back and this is part two of the October sweater. Now at this point we should have the main kind of body finished and we shall start with the bottom. Now I'll quickly remind you that this length should be approximately six centimeters shorter than the sleeve. So sleeve length for me it's 24 and a half centimeters minus six would be approximately 18 and a half centimeters from the armhole down okay again like I said uh, uh, in part one you can choose whatever you want to do you want it longer you want it shorter completely up to you but this is how I manage the length okay so it measures if I look from the armhole at approximately 19 centimeters a tiny little bit longer absolutely fine no problem okay so the next step is to finish off the uh, bottom part right here so I'm gonna change my hook from four and a half to four and wherever you have finished you're going to chain one and turn and just make one single crochet into each stitch all the way around so just single crochet around we want to get that um, edge ready for the ribbing so keep going all the way around I'll see you here when you come to an end and make your last single crochet you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch chain one and cut your yarn and pull that out okay now we want to look at the front and we need two stitch markers so I'm gonna leave the stitch markers in one sleeve uh, because it will be uh, a little bit of a mark for us when we'll start the sleeves but I will take it out of the other one if you have some spare ones just use some spare ones okay so now you want to place your cardigan very very straight and mark the very very corner stitches the ones that you can see that are on the very very bend it doesn't have to be very exact but you just have to be quiet on the side okay so now we're going to start our single crochet ribbing um, and we will do the front part first so make sure that you have the uh, buttonholes on, on, on the top okay we'll start from the side and this is the side the front that we are going to have the buttonholes in our ribbing now if you don't want the, uh, the the buttons on the side right here you can just keep going with the ribbing all the way around uh, but we are going to have to make two pieces one for the front with the buttonholes and one for the back with the buttons so to start we are gonna go to the right hand side again make sure that it's the front okay and we shall start in the stitch behind our stitch marker now we're gonna have to use only front loops for the first three uh, rows okay because we're gonna it's gonna have to be a an overlap so this top side is gonna have to overlap with the uh, back side a little bit so we that we have buttons and the buttonholes completely on top of each other okay so the first three will be into the front loop into the front loop we put in our hook one stitch behind our stitch marker and we are going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine now we're gonna completely skip the very first chain into the second chain we make a single crochet so one into the next two three four five six seven and eight 
we, we will have a an eight single crochet ribbing okay so uh, don't do any bigger or uh, smaller just because uh, I have counted out where our buttonholes should be okay so you need eight single crochets now we shall slip stitch into the next stitch again only into the front loop so this is slip stitch one and into the next stitch again only into the front loop and slip stitch two now this is where our buttonholes are going to be so you need to turn to the side yarn in front of you you are going to skip the the very first uh, two slip stitches that you have just made so one and two and starting into the back loop of the next stitch so right here into the back loop you make one single crochet then you make one single crochet into the back loop into the next stitch then we are going to chain one skip one stitch into the next one single crochet so this is where we have our buttonhole okay so we have single crochet single crochet chain one skip a stitch single crochet and now we need uh, one more okay so into the back loop we make a single crochet then we chain one skip one stitch into the back loop single crochet and into the back loop single crochet and here we have two buttonholes now we're gonna chain one and turn we're gonna skip that chain one into the back loop of the next stitch we're gonna start our single crochets and we should have eight so one two the next one is a buttonhole so I'm just gonna catch the back loop of the chain there that is three into the back loop of the next one four five six again is a chain so into the back loop six into the back loop seven into the back loop eight then we don't need to use the front loops anymore we can just uh, slip stitch into the full stitches so into the full stitch slip stitch one slip stitch two and turn yarn in front skip the two slip stitches that you have just made and into the loop of the next stitch into the back loop sorry uh, single crochet so one into the back loop two three four five six seven eight chain one into the back loop skip the chain one one two three four five six seven and eight and two slip stitches to the cardigan into the next stitch slip stitch one and into the next one slip stitch two turn skip the two slip stitches one two into the back loop of the next stitch again and we need to keep going until we have uh, one stitch left before our stitch marker okay so this is not very difficult uh, again I'm not gonna be uh, showing you a whole lot more of the ribbing because it's all the same you keep going always into the back loop and right here slip stitch slip stitch and all the way down here until you have one uh, stitch left before the next stitch marker okay so finishing the front part of the ribbing okay so I have my button holes right here I need to do the same on the other side now there's two things that can be right here okay so we want to see where our stitch marker is okay and when you get really really close you will either um, so we want to finish in the stitch behind the stitch marker okay so this is one two three four stitches or you might have three stitches left okay so it doesn't matter at this point we just um, need to even this out so if you have 
uh, four stitches left like me I'm just mo gonna move into the back loop my stitch marker again remember we have to finish here so one two three four or you might just have three you know you, you might just have one less so this is what we are going to do if you have four stitches left like me we're going to do one slip stitch and then into the next one into the front loop slip stitch and then one more slip stitch into the front loop where the stitch marker is okay so we end up making three slip stitches now if you had three stitches left you just do your two slip stitches into the front loop and we are at the same point okay so just because I had one extra uh, stitch I had to make three slip stitches it doesn't make a big difference I, we just want to finish nicely at the end okay so whatever you did uh, at this point you should be slip stitched into the uh, stitch with a stitch marker now uh, if you had three slip stitches you s skip three stitches one two three like me and into the next one into the back loop just go normally with single crochets and if you had your normal two slip stitches then just skip those two we go up eight single crochets now chain one and on the way down we're going to make our buttonholes again uh, skip the chain one the first two are normal single crochets into the back loop the third one is a chain one skip a stitch then two single crochets so that is one and two chain one skip a stitch and two more single crochets just like that okay again we have our buttonholes and then we should have one stitch left which would be behind the stitch marker and we're just going to slip stitch into that stitch and we're just gonna go up those stitches and finish at the top now again as many slip stitches you make to uh, uh, to connect to the cardigan that's how many stitches you skip in the beginning so we uh, we have slip stitched one stitch so this is just the one that we are going to skip and into the next stitch your normal eight single crochets so I think I have skipped two so slip stitch one okay something's up Oh, one one single crochet came out okay fix that slip stitch into the front loop turn skip that one slip stitch starting with the next stitch into the back loop one into the back loop two back loop three four five six seven and eight chain one cut your yarn and we're finished with the front now if you're not um, doing the front and the back separately you just keep going all the way around uh, and you don't need the buttonholes okay now we're gonna start on the back side of the uh, ribbing so we are going to start on the side where we have just finished and we should have three stitches that we did not use our back loops in okay I'm gonna take this out so you can see back loop back loop and back loop I'm gonna start in the furthest one and chain nine one two three four five six seven eight nine skip the first chain and your normal um, ribbing no buttonholes right here nothing we just keep going all the way around until we use up all of our stitches so this one is a little easier then two slip stitches again we still have two buttonhole two um, back loops left so we're gonna use them up skip the two stitches 
I have the tail here. Okay, one, two, into the back loop. Chain one into the back loop. And after this, into a full stitch. No more back loops, just full stitch, slip stitch one, slip stitch. Two. We just needed to, to get this overlap. Okay, so it's easy now. I keep going all the way around, and again, you want to finish right here into the back loops that we have left. So one, two, and three. And it doesn't really matter where, where you finish at this point, you will not be able to see that. So, whatever happens, just make your ribbing and finish right here okay I'm not gonna film this anymore because this is quite simple and when I come back uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the buttons in I'm gonna clean it up hide those tails I'll gonna have the buttons in right here and I want to hide the um, uh, tails on the inside while it's still open so I don't have to keep coming back in okay so we come back we have this bottom finished and we were going to start on the neckline here okay so I have most of my buttons in I have the ones on the side and I'm uh, missing one right here so it is better to have the buttons in before we start the collar uh, just because we need to do a little bit of measurement and once you have the buttons it will be easier to measure this part so I have one button left uh, the very very top one so I'm just gonna place it on top in a straight line and I'm just gonna put my needle in when the, where my buttonhole is so this is the buttonhole in and I'm gonna take it off and I know exact place where my button should be and just sew it on And <clears throat> here we are. Okay, finished with that. And like this. Okay, so the next step is uh, to do the collar. Grab your smaller hook, your yarn, and we can start. So the first thing is uh, we're gonna quickly see if we need to do a little bit of decreasing. We will uh, make one um, uh, one row of single crochets that just to clean up the edge before we start the collar. So we want to measure this part right here, and we need it to be close to this, so neckline. Okay, so you find it for your. For the size that you're making, I'm making three to four years, approximately 14 and a half centimeters. I'm gonna measure that, and I am at approximately there, 14 and a half. So I'm happy with that. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna do any decreasing. Uh, it is perfect for me. Now, if it is too wide for you, let's say it might be like 13 or 13 and a half centimeters, then you need to do a little bit of decreasing. Now, I will show you once we get to the places where we would uh, decrease, I will show you how to do that. 
for now we just start with a slip knot I'm gonna open that and we start on the side with the buttons in the very very first stitch with a smaller hook I'm gonna chain one and start making one single crochet into each stitch so we have those uh, leftover chains on top of each stitch so this is where I'm going into each of them and then when you're coming to to the corner so you can see it right here okay if you need to do some decreasing you can skip that it's better to skip uh, on the corners it's just it's gonna round the round up the yoke okay so this would be where I would skip I would just go straight over that into the next one and keep making single crochets now I don't need to do that so I'm gonna take that out and continue on with one single crochet into each stitch all the way to the other side now well, if you're doing decreasing so skip the stitch right here then skip the stitch right here right here and right here so you will be skipping four and that should really be enough if it's not you can pull it out and make more decreasing and then just perhaps skip a stitch somewhere at the back uh, on top of the shoulders and so on until this closes in uh, enough for you once you have the single crochet row uh, finished now we're going to start with the ribbing but it is a little bit different than usual we're gonna start with one single crochet and keep uh, increasing uh, the number of stitches in each row until we are up to 20 okay so you start with chaining two so one two and turn now we're gonna skip that top chain just the beginning is a little bit difficult okay so skip the first chain and just make one single crochet into the bottom chain now we're gonna make two slip stitches so into the next stitch slip stitch one into the next slip stitch two now we're gonna turn we're gonna skip those two slip stitches and we have that one single crochet now we need to make two single crochets into the back loop of that stitch so just into the back loop we make two single crochets Then we're gonna chain one and turn skip that chain one make one single crochet into the top stitch into the back loop and the bottom stitch gets two single crochets into the back loop one single crochet and two single crochets so until we get to 20 uh, always your very first stitch and your very last one uh, at the bottom right here will have two single crochets until we get to 20 okay so I have three now two slip stitches turn skip the two slip stitches and into the very first stitch into the back loop two single crochets and the rest just have one single crochet so I'm up to four now chain one and turn skip the chain one make one single crochet into the back loop until you have only one stitch left and you make two single crochets there so now I have five single crochets two slip stitches and turn skip the slip stitches two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch and the rest get one single crochet into the back loop I am up to six 
single crochets chain one and turn skip the chain one start with one single crochet into each stitch until you have one stitch left and right here make two single crochets and I'm up to one two three four five six seven two slip stitches Yarn in front, skip the two slip stitches, two single crochets in the first stitch, and the rest get one single crochet. I have eight single crochets now. Chain one, turn, skip the chain one, one single crochet into each stitch until you have one stitch left. into the last stitch two single crochets two slip stitches so I have nine single crochets turn skip the two slip stitches two single crochets into the first stitch and the rest have one and so on and so on until you have 20 single crochet so I have 10 now I'm halfway through I just need to keep going so you just remember that you're always at the bottom you're always increasing at the bottom when you are starting at the bottom two single crochets and then you're coming down into the last uh, stitch again two single crochets okay so keep going uh, until we have 20 Okay, so at this point I am at 19 single crochets. I'm going to turn around, skip the first two stitches, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I have reached my 20 single crochets. So from now on, no more increasing. I'm going to keep that 20 single crochets. Uh, so just go one single crochet into each stitch no more two single crochets at the very first or the last stitch so you should have something like this okay so we started very small and now we're really really long so for the rest it's just one single crochet now we need to continue the 20 around until we have 20 stitches left on the other side so uh, grab a stitch marker and now you can count 20 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so we know that right here we need to start decreasing again so we get the same shape as on this side okay so all of this is 20 single crochets into the back loop and right here we start the same process of decreasing so making it smaller okay so I'm getting really close to the wrong hook uh, to the stitch marker here okay so once you need to slip stitch and you actually slip stitch into the stitch where the stitch marker is so slip stitch one and slip stitch two so I have slip stitch into this I'm gonna take that out that is time to start decreasing so uh, this time for decreasing we will decrease the first and second stitch of each row and the last two when we are coming down so I slip stitched one two I'm gonna skip that so this is the very first stitch I'm gonna go into that pull it out and leave it 
gonna go into the second stitch catch my yarn pull it out I have three loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all three and we have decreased so that is one now two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen okay so this is the way <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it is gonna get again smaller so from the top we chain one we turn around and we make one single crochet until we have two stitches left at the bottom okay so I have two stitches left and again go into the back loop of one pull the yarn out and leave it pull put your hook into the next one put pull out your yarn yarn over and pull through all three loops and now I have 18 single crochets two slip stitches turn skip the two slip stitches into the stitch number one pull out your yarn and stop into the stitch number two pull out your yarn pull through and continue on with one single crochet and I will have 17 single crochets at the end of this row so you keep going decreasing now uh, the very first or the very two uh, stitches at the very bottom and I will see you right here when we will be finishing up when we will be getting close to that one okay so again it will be decreasing by one in each row so 20, 19, 18, 17 and so on okay so I'm finishing up right here I have one two three four single crochets at the moment and I just wanted to finish up together with you so two slip stitches and the first two crochet together that's one single crochet two and three chain one one single crochet crochet two together I have two single crochets left two slip stitches turn now that's that's where it gets a little tricky because it's getting really low okay we have two single crochets left I'm gonna crochet them together into one chain one turn one single crochet and slip stitch and we are finished I'm gonna chain one and turn now obviously before you cut your yarn um, have a good look it kind of depends on the yarn now my uh, color came out a bit on the smaller side uh, I probably could have used the bigger hook to make it a little bit um, a little bit uh, bigger this the stitches itself but it's okay I think so this is how it looks and once you turn it inside out it looks like that so it's it's not small uh, but uh, I think the yarn is a little bit thinner than uh, the other ones that I have used and it just looks a little shorter than all the others but I'm happy with it if you're not happy you can uh, pull that all out I know it's a lot of work but then um, take the bigger hook and it will be softer and a little bit longer but anyways like I said I am happy with this it's absolutely perfect just like that I'm gonna now um, hide my tails and we will start on the sleeves okay and so we are on to the sleeves now to start first of all uh, get your uh, colors ready so if you have enough of the 
top color yarn you can make another uh, a row or two on each sleeve um, I don't I probably do have enough but I have already made one sleeve and I didn't do a row in this so I'm just gonna leave it out but if you have some uh, leftover yarn from this color just make a few rows just to use up that yarn but I'm gonna jump jump straight into the colors and um, it's really kind of easy so we are going to start to so grab your normal hook and both sleeves are the same okay so I left my stitch markers in this is where my corners were and then we have a double crochet underneath the stitch markers so we want to so make a slip knot and we want to connect right here where the chain one is remember we have skipped over that chain one so put your hook in there and chain two so we will be going the first row for everyone we're just going out on the outside of the sleeve then we have that double crochet underneath the stitch marker so we need to put two double crochets in there so one double crochet in the bottom of that double crochet and one double crochet in the top of that double crochet and then where your stitch marker is you put another double crochet so we have three double crochets now I'm gonna take that out don't need that anymore the next step is it might be a little bit different okay so remember I finished at the corner with an increase and I have two double crochets right here that have not been pulled into uh, the pattern yet okay they are just double crochets they are not front or they are not back yet so what I need to do I need to see the two double uh, the two stitches in front what are they okay so I can match the pattern before it so these are back post double crochets so this row is gonna be front post double crochets so the two before will be back post double crochets so I pull, pull them into work with back post double crochets now if you don't have those two uh, stitches before well, after you make those free double crochets you just see what you have in front of you and you just make um, a complete op opposite of it okay so let's say if these were not here these two that I have I would just look see back post double crochets and go okay so this has to be front post double crochets hopefully that makes um, sense uh, I'm uh, actually w um, I'm kind of worried for the really beginners that do this. I'm not worried for the people that uh, crochet a lot uh, because they do understand uh, the patterns easier and they can think for themselves as well. So when I sometimes say something, uh, re repeat a couple of times, I'm just meant to tell the people that are not so used to crochet, okay? Uh, how it has to be done a couple of times just to make sure that they understand okay so keep going with a pattern until you get to that stitch marker okay now again I have the two double crochets before the stitch marker and then the stitch marker we put in a double crochet there then we have the double crochet underneath we put a double crochet in the top of it and one more at the bottom okay so I usually like to put it maybe right here somewhere so it doesn't leave a hole or maybe even right here and we find the chain two and we just go in behind the chain two not not into but right behind it and we slip stitch and we have row one of the sleeve okay so to start row two we're gonna chain two and we're gonna turn now again we need to see what stitch we need to start the pattern with because we have three double crochets right here that are neither front or post back double crochets so we we'll look at the last ones we uh, we can see so I have these two and these two are looking at me so they are front post double crochet so this row they are going to be back post double crochets 
So the two before are gonna be front post double crochets and we're left with one right here, okay? So this one will be a back post double crochet. Now eventually we will get rid of that one, but just for now, just for a few rows, just keep it there, okay? So this is gonna be back, front, so that one is back. Just one, because we had three, an odd number. Then the two front post. And the two back posts. And we're in the pattern. We have all stitches working now with front or back post double crochets. Well, almost all. We still have the free at the end of this row, okay? So keep going, front post, back post. See you right here. So I have the three double crochets left and I'm just gonna go according to pattern so there was back post so front post front post and I finished with one back post double crochet I'm gonna go behind the chain two and slip stitch now if you're not changing colors you can just chain to turn and start on the next row. I'm just gonna chain one and because I need a color change. I'm gonna cut that off and pull that out. So change of colors and then it's not that difficult because we can already see all of our stitches and we know that we always make the opposite one and uh, we just need to make a little bit of decreasing. We will lose those um, these stitches eventually. Um, so you can uh, you can decrease them now if, if you want to. So it's going to be a really, really easy decrease. I'm going to show you right now. So I'm just going to attach new color, chain two. Okay, so if you want to decrease them now, what you're going to do, you're just going to skip over, over it, okay? So I'm just going to skip over that and go right in to making the next two. So it's two front post double crochets. And that's it. That is gone. Now the only thing is, don't get them decreased uh, in the same row, okay? So if you lost it right here, so finish that row, finish with making that one and then in the next row you can skip over that don't do it at the same time in the same row because it kind of makes this um it's kind of becomes noticeable okay so i just completely skipped over that and then i would just um go behind the chain two and connect now i have decided to do my decreasing a little bit lower down so i did on this sleeve i did it right here in the main color but you can technically do it wherever you want i just wanted to keep the stripes and then do the decrease so for this time i'm not gonna skip over that uh, so it was a front post double crochet and i'm gonna make it into a back post this time and carry on with your pattern so nothing uh, really difficult right there um, just keep changing your colors now I want to come back and show you how to do that uh, decrease uh, just really really quickly I want to I will be able to show you like visually how it looks so keep going I will come back right here when I when I'm on my um, color mustard and after I show you the decrease uh, a bit more uh, we can uh, we will be able to talk about the sleeve length and what we're gonna do right here Okay, so at this point I will be doing my two decreasings uh, And I have showed you how to do that, but just in case somebody didn't quite understand so you after you chain two So here I have one and one on the other side, okay, so I'm just gonna completely get rid of them I'm gonna turn it doesn't matter which show you do it on you just completely skip over that stitch okay so I'm gonna yarn over instead of doing a back post here I'm just gonna go straight into the next two and do the front post over them and that's it that is that stitch gone so continue on I'll see you right here 
Okay, so I'm finishing up. So in this row, I only do one decrease. So I leave the one at the end uh, in for now. I will get uh, get that decreased in the next row. And then into the chain two or behind it. Chain two. So we have, you see, it's a space instead of a um, double crochet there. And then the other side again, I'm just going to completely skip over that and I have my next two and that is it. Okay, then you just keep going and these two stitches disappear. Now, just in case you think that your sleeves are really, really wide, which shouldn't be because we have started at a smaller point uh, and they will be wide, but again, it's a pullover. It has to have enough space for the hands to come in and some wiggle space in there as well, okay? For a normal cardigan, I would probably want them to be a little bit, um, well, not, not as wide, okay? For a, for a pullover, uh, I think w wide, or normal is better just again small children getting in there it might get really pulled and stuff okay so at least that's what I think but just in case you think that is really really wide what you can do is you can do another few decreases then you can so once you get the rid of these two you can start picking on on the next two okay so again you come back and you just make one instead of two, okay? So let's say I would just go around the second one and make one back post double crochets. Uh, and then maybe one on the other side and so on. But if you do that, if you do more decreases than that, then just have in mind that we will be decreasing right here in the last row before we start the ribbing. And uh, you probably shouldn't do that decreasing right here if you do more than the two that I did, have just done now because this part, you can see it's nice and thin right here. It might just get a little too small for you. Just have that in mind. Um, okay, let's talk about the length. So, when we measure the length of the sleeve, I'm getting really f full table here. Oh, okay, so you measure from the armhole to the end. So you can see it's approximately at approximately 20 six centimeters in length okay so from the armhole and down now let's have a look at the chart uh, sleeve length right here and my sleeves should be at approximately 20, 24 and a half centimeters so I'm a little bit over not a problem I'll rather have them a little longer uh, than shorter besides when they are a little bit longer it will stay like a bit like this rather than being all stretched out okay so it's not a big problem we have the full length of the sleeve now we need to continue with what we were doing now until we are approximately um, maybe five and a half six centimeters maybe five and a half five five and a half centimeters away from finishing so like I said I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the one row right here together because we'll do some decreasing single crochet row and the ribbing now if you're not quite sure and you might end up uh, a little bit uh, short or a little bit longer you can always change the length of the ribbing here I'm gonna have six single crochets you can always always do four or eight if you need it longer and so on so don't be too worried okay we're just now thinking approximately five five and a half six centimeters away and then we can always fix it if we need to with the ribbing so 24 and a half centimeters minus the let's say five and a half I will keep going with the sleeve until I'm approximately 19 20 centimeters approximately there somewhere and then we will start the decreasing okay now one more thing if you need uh, to count your rows just in case when you will be making your other one it becomes a little bit difficult so I'm gonna show you right now before I forget how I do that personally so I look at the front post right here and I kind of go to the side so this is one row two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15 rows in total. So I just kind of count the the front posts going uh, sideways, like whichever way. I just find it much easier because it can get uh, a little confusing if you count it like that. Okay, keep going. I'll see you when we're approximately a few centimeters away 
and we will finish it together. And here we are, I only have one more uh, row left and I want to do a little bit of decreasing right here. Okay, so I'm going to chain two and turn whichever way you're going, it doesn't matter. I uh, need to go this way right now on the outside. And we're going to do four decreases simply by skipping stitches, okay? So you want to do one about here somewhere, two right here or second one, third one, and fourth one, just around the sleeve. So I'm going to start and a little bit further from the beginning, let's say right here, instead of doing two back post double crochets, I'm just going to do one and jump right into the next one. So I just skipped one stitch. So just like that. So that is one decrease. I go a little further on. And yeah, a little further, I think. About here somewhere, instead of doing two front posts, I'm, I'll just do one front post. That is two decreases and keep going. So make two more. I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so I have one, two and one, two. Okay, so finishing this, I'm just going to slip stitch under the chain two. Now I'm going to change my hook into a smaller one and we'll do some more decreasing. Now we're going to make a row of single crochets. Now, uh, once you chain one, you're going to turn and go the other way with the single crochets, okay? So what we want to do is we want to make one single crochet, one single crochet, skip a stitch. One single, one single skip. Okay, so one single crochet, one into the next stitch, I skip one. One, two, skip. One, two and skip. So by doing that we are going to uh, decrease by a third. Okay, so whatever you have now it's going to be smaller by by a third. Okay, let me see. So I skipped one, two, skip. One, two, skip. One, Two skip. One, two skip. And so on until you come to an end of this row. Okay, so I'm going to skip one, two, skip. Okay, so you have to be careful right here when you're coming um, close. It's kind of hard to see because single crochets are quite small. So whatever ends up here in, at the end, if you get to skip or you don't get to skip, it's okay. We just slip stitch into the very first stitch. And now we're going to start the ribbing by chaining um, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We skip the first stitch and start making single crochet so it will be six single crochets okay and I will be going around on the outside of the sleeve and two slip stitches so it's quite easy we have done the ribbing before now Okay, so I would suggest you start with six single crochets for the ribbing and then eventually measure measure out. You see if that's enough or you need longer or shorter, okay? So you can always uh, make it like four single crochets, five single crochets or eight, nine if you need more, okay? But I'm going to stick to six because I already have one sleeve with that. So two slip stitches, skip them into the back loop six 
single crochets and we go all the way around I'll meet you at the very end of it and we will connect the ribbing on the end of the sleeve together okay and two slip stitches now when you have one stitch or no stitches left so I have one stitch right here if you see it looks like I have two but the, the chain is coming out of this stitch okay so I technically only have one stitch so you can have one or only this stitch left for the slip stitch right here now okay so I'm just gonna because I have that one I'll slip stitch into that and now I will start joining the two sides now uh, if you find uh, joining with slip stitches difficult you can just sew it together but I'll just do it really quickly so what I do is I go into the bottom of one side and into the stitch into the middle of the stitch or into the front loop on the other side and slip stitch oops lost that one into the next on one side next on the other side and my last one like this after that chain one and cut your yarn now I am all finished this is the only thing that I have to do is to hide this tail because I have the other sleeve done uh, so you, you are most likely if you're watching this you still have one more sleeve to do and to hide all of your tails but I am all finished right give me a second and I will show you how it fully looks like and so here is my cardigan I'm very happy with it I wish um, perhaps that this would be a little bit higher if I would go back I would probably use a 4.5 millimeter hook just to make it a little bit um, longer but it's technically it just uh, elastic there so it will go around the neck beautifully okay so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one let me know what you think about this pattern bye